shocking Manjaro cost and jaw-dropping Manjaro monthly cost. We're gonna break it down in today's video. Today's video, I want you to walk away with this video knowing exactly how much Manjaro is gonna cost per month. Um, I've got graphs for you, I've got spreadsheets, I've got a flip chart, I've got everything for you to learn. The price point on the Manjaro without insurance, Manjaro with insurance, and the same can be true for Zetbound 2, both makers of Eli Lilly. Uh, who am I? I'm Elizabeth Countess of Shopping. I am not a medical professional. I always punch you back to your medical professional, but I have been on Manjaro for the last 15 months, having lost over 82 pounds with Manjaro and Zetbound. My blood panels are fantastic, and hopefully I'll be a source of you of encouragement, strength, and hope of what's worked well for me and what's not worked well for me. So let's go ahead and dive in. I will always punch you back to your own healthcare professional too, because this is never medical advice. Manjaro cost, it's $1,000 to $1,200 per month. Yes, my friends, if you do not have insurance coverage and just straight out of your pocket, baby, you are paying up to $1,200 per month for your Manjaro pen. That is basically $250 to $300 per week. Each one of these pens is 250 to 300 approximately per week, depending on your state and your neck of the woods. Here in Virginia, that's roughly the cost of it. So how do we reduce Manjaro cost? How do we drop that price point down for the average bear? Because most people cannot afford $1,000 to $1,200 per month. And we know Manjaro, as what studies are telling us, is essentially, um, uh, well, how it was phrased from my doctor was I was going to be on this as a lifelong medication, like a diabetic would with insulin, like a heart patient would be with high blood pressure, that this would be a lifelong medication more than likely, and to walk into it with that viewpoint. So that's how I've walked into it the last 15 months. I'll be on this probably the rest of my life, and I have no intentions of getting off Manjaro as bound. So knowing that cost... Figuring that out, that's about $12,000 per year from Manjaro if you were self-paying without the Manjaro coupon or Manjaro savings card. Let me close my mouth and let's move on to being solution oriented. I wanna first ask you the first question that I always ask people whenever we talk in my free group. I have a free group of thousands and thousands of people on Manjaro and Zetbound, you're welcome to join it. It's actually down in the description link below is, does your insurance cover or not cover Manjaro? Are you having insurance coverage or not coverage? Okay, if your insurance is covering Manjaro, then are you eligible for the savings card? I told you I had lots of, of little zoozads for you today. What I want you to do if you're thinking about going on Manjaro is to go to Eli Lilly's website and you can see if you are eligible for the Manjaro savings card. It's going to have these questions as of today's filming date, which is the end of March 2024. So this may change. Things do rapidly change in the GLP-1 community. So make sure you see my most up-to-date videos and make sure you click that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on a thing. The savings, Manjaro savings card, if you are have your insurance, has said yes, you can take, Man yes, Manjaro is covered. Which, by the way, just because your insurance covers it does not mean that that's going to be a total pain in the booty. Insurance companies are intentionally making it very challenging to get GLP-1 medications right now. Why? Because it's expensive. Why? Because most people stay with an insurance plan for an average of three years and move to a different insurance plan. So most insurance companies are passing the buck. They are playing leapfrog, essentially. Oh, we'll pass it off, we'll pass it off, we'll pass it off. Until we get to the point of where people see, and it will, the data is going to show, in my humble opinion, <laughs> I always like to tell you to make the distinction between it's factually accurate, and that's very important to me, being factually accurate and scientifically representing um, the accuracy of it versus my own opinion. My opinion is eventually it's going to show it's such a profound miracle drug, which it is for so many people. Uh, I know I'm, I'm one of thousands and thousands and thousands who have... Um, lost a significant amount of weight, whose blood panels are absolutely exceptional from the GLP-1 medication. Now that we have Wegovy that was just FDA approval for helping with heart disease, strokes, cardiovascular activities, it's amazing. So if your insurance covers it, it may very well be a pain in the butt for you. You still need to get prior authorizations and a lot of other hoops to jump through to get that coverage. But then my second point for you would be to get the savings card. On the Manjaro savings card, or what is the price with the Manjaro savings card? We're gonna talk about that. One, you need to be a resident of the United States or Puerto Rico who's under 18 years, or who's, excuse me, who's 18 years or older. Two, you can confirm I am not 
not enrolled in federal or state government funded programs like Medicaid, Medicare Part D, Medigap, DOD, VA, TRICARE, CHAMPUS, or any other state patient or pharmaceutical assistance program. You cannot be enrolled in those and also get the savings card. Number three, I can confirm I have the Manjaro prescription for type two diabetes. So all of that is on Eli Lilly, the manufacturer of Manjaro, that is my source on that. Cite my source, that is my source. So can you get the savings card? If you can get the savings card, if you can get the savings card, that is around, I didn't write it on my little chart, around five, um, well, it depends on your insurance company, actually. Let's keep going. Then my third choice for you for what would be the Manjaro cost per month would be, can you do mail order through your insurance? If you can do a three-month mail order insurance, honey, that is the best possible outcome, in my humble opinion, uh, for the lowest priced cost. I've seen people in my free encouragement group pray as low as like 25 bucks for three months worth or 50 bucks or around that ballpark of where we go from paying <laughs> up as high as $1,200 per month to as low as if you had it for 20, let's just do easy math, 30 bucks for a three month supply. That's 10 bucks every month, basically. You see what I'm saying? Three months supply. Uh, we know that each month is considered 28 days, but that would be if it was three months supply for 30 bucks, that's 10 bucks per month. That's wild savings. That is the ultimate jackpot and lottery if you can get this vertical. Most people ain't getting that vertical. <laughs> Most people are not going to be getting that vertical in terms of price point that low. If you can get that savings card plus your insurance, that is going to dramatically drop for you, but you need to have those three things. Uh, if you have TRICARE, for example, bless our military people, are not, no, <laughs> no, you can't get the savings card, no. Um, and so that's where you fall into this bucket over here. We're going to talk about what if your insurance does not cover Manjaro. Now we know with Manjaro shortages and with soon to be ZEPBound shortages, ZEPBound shortages are already occurring. We just aren't, haven't seen them yet on the FDA shortage list. Click that like and subscribe button. You can check back here when, as soon as it does, I'll be doing a breaking news story to report it, but their insurance companies are not covering this, which a lot of people are seeing now, and in my free encouragement group, which is linked in the description link below, that they had it covered on their insurance and then it got taken away. Why? Because so many people are taking these drugs. And we go back to that initial price point, that's a lot for if your employer's company, well, it is your employer, through your HR department, you can um, have your HR department, I mean, go plead and beg with them uh, or present a realistic case of why this is GLP-1 medications is important, but that's a conversation for another day. You don't have your insurance. We're going to talk about that. My other choice here that if your insurance covers it, you can get the savings card, you can get mail order or maybe not mail order is the good RX cost. What is the good RX cost in your area? Now we are under a Manjaro shortage. Y'all, I'm an economist daughter, so supply and demand is right in my wheelhouse. We are under a very low supply and a very high demand. This will feasibly work with GoodRx once the supply chain evens out. Eli Lilly is telling us that in um, August 31st, 2024, that North Carolina factory is going to start taking over the Manjaro um, supply. And so that should hopefully help cut down. So by fall, we'll probably see that ramp, uh, that we'll see that in the marketplace, is my guess. Eli Lilly tells us August 31st, 2024. I'm saying fall. That's the Countess of Shopping's opinion. If you go to Good Rx for their monthly price point, in my area, I just typed in Ashburn, Virginia. I live in rural Virginia, but I'm just typing in a local, a local area. Is Wegmans is 1000 uh, $35. CVS is $1,100. Walgreens is $1,100. Costco is $1,049 per month. This is four pens, one pen each week times four is a month supply. Target, $1,100. Safeway, Walmart, uh, Walmart's $1,000. You would think Walmart would be the lower one, but it's actually uh, the lowest one looks like it's Wegmans and then Costco. In my area, Costco has not and I've been on Manjaro now for, for uh, over 15 months. My Costco has not ever had it, like ever. So yes, it's the lowest price, but it's never, ever in stock. So something to think about too of like, can you actually get it in stock? And that's been part of this Manjaro shortage 
thing, but that's a video for another day. So your good or X cost, you can see if you're just starting your journey, okay, who has it, who has it for less amount. If you can get that mail order every three months, that's amazing. You know why I didn't do mail order at the beginning? because I don't wanna be on prescriptions for three months. I wanted to have the ability to titrate up. If you've seen some of my other videos in the last five, six months, the last half a year, I have been preaching on, my experience is not to titrate up quickly. If I could go back and stay on a like the 2.5 milligrams, for example, or, or 7.5 milligrams for three months, four months, five months, six months, longer and use my injection sites, which I go into great detail on those in other videos. But if you vary your injection sites and vary your time in which you take your injections, you may not need to titrate up. And if you could hold that line of not titrating up, I wish I had done that. I wish I had. I'm at the ceiling. I'm at Manjaro 15 milligrams, Zetbound 15 milligrams. I have nowhere else to go, which is causing me some challenges. And so I want to encourage you to help prevent those. If you can stay by getting the mail order for three months at a time, that is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. But that's a video for another day. Let's keep going. Your insurance does not cover Manjaro. What is the cost then of Manjaro, the Manjaro cost without insurance? Your insurance is not covering Manjaro. <laughs> and you're like, Great, I'm gonna self pay basically. Step number one, let's go through our little steps here. You all know I'll, I love me a good checklist is appeal with your insurance, at least fight it. Try to have an appeal with your insurance. If you have my insurance, you're not gonna win, but at least you can try to appeal it. Some members of our group have had really great success with appeals. So it's worth a shot. It's worth swinging the bat. It, here's what, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. If you can continue to grind and grind and grind, it's the time and grinding in which may save you thousands, basically. So I, appeal the insurance company. Number two, let's go over to our savings card. If you are applicable for that Manjaro savings card, let's go back over to that. These three things are the important pieces. If you fit under those for the Manjaro savings card, your Manjaro coupon without insurance costs per month, your per month out of pocket is around $450 to $600 using that Manjaro coupon, using that Manjaro savings card, same thing. It's around $450 to $600 without your insurance. Without insurance, with the savings card. And that savings card, you need to double check for eligibility how long that savings card is valid for from when you get it. Um, Cause there's certain terms in here. And I know people hate reading the fine print, but babes, you gotta read the fine print. Our counts and counts is we are, we, are, we are proactive and we will read this. And if you are not able to read fine print easily, um, if you have, if it's hard for you to read stuff like that, have someone else read it with you and ask them to decipher it and, and speak it to you. I know that that can be challenging. I have a member of my family who have a really hard time with that. So have someone read it for you and then repeat back, like be like, can you summarize this for me? <laughs> it's totally like enlist people to help you with this. It's totally okay. So you have the savings card with it. Then I would encourage you, maybe could you do mail order through one of these other companies without your insurance company? Is that an option for you? I would love that option. I would love that option. Okay, let's go over to the next piece. We've got pieces. Now, I said on this video, it was Manjaro cost. I got costs for you. I got other costs just besides the cost of the medication. The other costs are, if you are doing a telehealth or doctor, what are your medical costs? Someone is going to need to prescribe the Manjaro prescription to you. Who's gonna do that? <laughs> For me, I had been working with my primary care doctor, gosh, that those, um, that 15 months ago with my telehealth, uh, with my primary care doctor and they were dealing with cold sniffles and flu. So I switched over to telehealth company, switched to that telehealth company. It was clear to me, they just cared about the money grab and not about GLP-1 patients. So I switched to Join Fridays. I will link their information in the description link below. I'm obsessed with Join Fridays. Use the code QUEEN, Q-U-E-E-N. Um, all capital letters, and you can go with them and you get a discount with that first month. That is part of my cost too for telehealth. If you are doing anything associated with um, with getting your prescription, there is it's just naturally gonna be a, a cost. That's, that's normal, that's normal. And you need to incorporate that into your budget. Blood panel, 
uh, I have to have blood panel work done with Joy Fridays because they are a reputable telehealth company. If your doctor or healthcare provider has not made you do a telehealth panel in a while, question, question, is that a reputable, are they an expert on GLP-1 medications? People who are well-versed with GLP-1 medications know we need to have as patients blood panels. So are you having that? There's a cost with that too. Um, the cost of food either increased or decreased. Why do I say increased or decreased? Well, for me, I was like, hot dog, the cost of our food bill is going to go down because my portions have significantly shrinken. Sh shrank? Shrinken. Shrunken. Honey, I shrunk the kids. Shrunken. Shrank. Shrinken. Barfig nougan. No, the cost of food went down. <laughs> the <co> <laughs> The cost of food I thought would go down erroneously. It actually did go down, but then went up in some areas because now I like higher quality food. I want more organic stuff. I We live here in rural Virginia, so I like to support our local farmers with grass-fed and like super healthy proteins and things like that. So is your cost of food may go up or down? Um, now, here's some other things to think about. If that is way too high for your britches, that cost price point is like, oh my gosh, Elizabeth, $1,000 to $200 off the table, or I do apply, I can get that Manjaro savings card per month or the Manjaro coupon per month, but really that um, $400 to $500 price point, $550 price point per month is still too much. What other options do I have? Compounds. Compounds are allowed through uh, as long as the medication is on the FDA shortage list, which Manjaro is, Zepbound probably will be. We go the 100% is. Um, and so <laughs> this is where it gets, finding a reputable compound pharmacy is important. I work with Join Fridays. They work with reputable compound pharmacies. They're third party tested. There's been a lot of news about compound pharmacies. If you go back Several months ago, I was very much against them. I now actually am kind of for them because the shortage is not ending anytime soon. And we know that this medication, if you go off, literally 70% of people who go off um, GLP-1s gain that weight back within a year. 30% of people keep it off. 70% don't. Question that stat though, because did those people make lifestyle changes? Like there's a lot of questions. I still have questions on those stats, but those are the stats that we have right now. And it's fine to question those stats. I do too. But um, that's the information we have right now. So if we know that majority of people gain the weight back once they go off GLP-1 medications, why would I go off this medication with the Manjaro shortage and Wegovi shortage and upcoming Zepbound shortage, why would I opt to go off? For me, it makes natural sense to go to a compound pharmacy pending, 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 that they are reputable. You need to do your due diligence with those though. Um, you need to do your due diligence with those though. Uh, I recommend Join Fridays and I trust them, but obviously you do you boo. Like I'm not your, I'm not a healthcare provider. I'm not like, this is simply my experience, strength and hope. Um, one other thing, and so this is some of my experience, strength and hope is we knew my husband and I, when I first started taking Manjaro 15 months ago, we sat down with pen and paper and our budgeting checklist and our spreadsheet for a monthly family budget and said, Okay, how are we going to make this fit into our budget? We line item canceled a bunch of stuff, like massively went through our budget to fit this in because we're financially responsible people. And I know you're financially responsible too, of how do you pay for the cost of Manjaro? Started line iteming and crossing off a bunch of different um, things out of our budget. I sold stuff. <laughs> we just did it. I mean, like we changed some of our habits to fit this in. And part of my husband's and my 2023 and now 2024 goals that we spoke out over our family was health and education were our focuses. When you looked at our checkbook and our checking account, you could see that health and education were our primary focuses. When we're making investments, when we're doing, like that is where our expenses went. And it was reflective. As we looked back on 2023, you could take a review. Yeah, it was actually that was actually accurate. Education and expense, uh, education and health. So for you, does that mean what can you cut? What can you save? What can you sell? Can you take on a side hustle? Can you, like what, like what? For me, but knowing, comma, <laughs> that this for me is a lifelong medication. So how do I sustain that, right? And so maybe that is compounds. Maybe it is appealing your insurance company. You've got options and choices. The great news is, is you're not hopeless. You're not powerless. You're not any of those things. You've got power, you've got strength, and you've got a smart brain. So let's start coming up with solutions to figure this out, right? And I know it's going to take some time. The count made the great point, And he said, 
when will, do you, for example, when will Manjaro go on um, generic? Eight years. So at the max, you got eight years until it becomes a generic drug. Do you guys remember um, Differin? I used to pay, when I was young, way, way younger, I used to have a really bad, not really bad, but I had acne. And Differin, I would pay for a prescription for Differin, and now it's like common because it's generic. So eventually these will become generic drugs. That's eight years out though. But knowing that there's hope, right? Like, okay, there's hope down the pike. There's other medications that are GLP-1s that you can um, look into. On the Oprah show, if you guys saw that, that show was so powerful um, with the mom who was talking, Maggie, Maggie was the, the teenager who was taking a GLP-1 about how their insurance company didn't cover it, but there was other ones that they did cover. So maybe they're not going to be as powerful as Manjaro or as Wegovy or as Zepbound or as Ozempic, but there's still other GLP-1s that your insurance may cover. I would start there, right? And see what your healthcare provider has. But this is where it goes back to telehealth, having someone who is knowledgeable with GLP-1s, which is why I moved to a telehealth company. Working with my doctor did not understand. They were a great doctor. They're a great doctor. They're still my doctor. Um, and I love them and I appreciate them and they're really, really knowledgeable. But in terms of GLP-1 being on the cutting pulse of education and being an expert in it, they were not. And so switching to somebody who knows, okay, if not Majoro, if not Wegovy, what else, what else, what else? Like helping you come up with solutions too. For me, chronic obesity management needs somebody who's proficient in chronic obesity management and with my blood panels to manage type 2 diabetes. It just makes sense to be with an expert, right? And so that's where I want you to walk through, and they also may know about your insurance. By the way, Joint Fridays has an insurance concierge wing, like that's part of their business, which is, again, another reason why I like them. And they can prescribe both brand names, like Wegovy, Manjaro, Zepbound, and Compounds. They can, they're one of the only ones that does both. So walking away today, you now know what Manjaro costs are so you can make educated decisions. It's not easy. This is not easy with shortages, savings card hacking glitches. I mean, it's just, it's a lot. But your health is worth fighting for. You are worth fighting for. For me, what is, how, profound me, how profoundly my life has changed in the last 15 months, all worth it for me all worth it. You need to figure out what makes the best sense for you. But for me, my husband and I were going, I was like, I will get a second job. I will hustle. I will continue to do that until there's a, we know that in eight years it will be a generic drug. So what can I, what can I do for the next eight years? Right. But I also do think that insurance, more competitions coming out. We will know that GLP ones, that there's a lot in clinical trials. Like it is a race right now. It's not a marathon. It's a sprint going on with these pharmaceutical companies. You know, who's not in the game yet? Pfizer. Uh, is Pfizer going to buy out Viking? I don't know. Like I've got all these predictions for all these things, but there's a lot of people in the pharmaceutical game who see how much cha-ching money is getting made by Eli Lilly, the maker of Manjaro and Zepbound, and Novo Nordis, the maker of Wegovy and Ozempic. Cha-ching. They're wanting to get in that race too. Pfizer will enter the chat soon is my prediction. They're going to buy somebody out. Let's wait and see. I do like to be factually accurate, so maybe I'll be wrong, but I don't think so. I'm going to play this clip back when I'm right. They'll be entering the chat. We know that Viking um, has doing great things. Like there's a lot in, um, in clinical trials right now. It will probably take realistically around two years for those to come out, just FYI. So something to think about. Um, more competition, again, I'm an economist daughter, when we have more supply, that is going to change the demand, on, like that's going to change the price point on these two. So if we can get a, a, another option, that would be great. But we are seeing with Wegovy getting approved for FDA approval for heart disease, cardiovascular events, with strokes, and helping, there's a 20% reduction on those. I mean, that's amazing, by the way. If you have heart disease in your family, and maybe your partner doesn't have chronic obesity um, or type 2 diabetes, but they do have heart challenges like those, I mean, hello, like it's show, like there's so many amazing benefits with GLP-1 medications. It's phenomenal. In my humble opinion, simply my experience, strength, and hope. But the data is backing my experience, strength, and hope too. My sweet friends, hopefully that answers all. It should answer all your questions. If you've not gotten my free Manjaro Weight Loss Success Checklist, make sure you do down on the description link below. If you go to Countess of, when you go to countessofshopping.com, my blog, it's all resources for Manjaro, Wegovy, um, and Zepbound. I have a ton of articles on there. 
recipes, what I eat in a day, all of those things. I have my Manjaro shopping list, highly recommend. My favorite magnesiums, I have a Manjaro Amazon shopping list that I have curated extensively. Like I go through, the, I buy a lot of products to test them and I update that list as I find things that I like that I've bought. I have supplements for magnesium that have dramatically helped me with sleep, um, anxiety, and it. I've switched companies. So I've linked that down below. I switched like three months ago. Was it three months ago? I have a discount code for you guys linked in the description link below. Protein shakes, like a ton of stuff to help you that have helped me. So, and particularly if you're just starting. If you're just starting, you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know where to start. I got I got you covered. Manjaro 2.5 milligrams, Zepbound 2.5 milligrams, all the way up to where I am right now, which is Manjaro 15 milligrams. From my experience, Strength and Hope, always talk with your own healthcare provider. If you do want to check in with Join Fridays, use the discount code QUEEN, Q-U-E-E-N. My sweet friends, click that like button, click that subscribe button, and today's emoji is going to be a pen a pen. We do emojis here and you put them in the comments. One, it will help me to get to know your name better through pattern recognition. And two, I'll pray over you. If you don't believe in prayer, I will uplift you in positive thought. And that's uh, a way to continue positivity in a world that can be dark at times. I want to be a source of light and encouragement for you here at Countess of Shopping. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others. I'm Countess of Shopping. Count my blessings because life is delicious. I'll see you next time, friends. Have a great day.